you doing? Good. The last time I saw you, I was like attacking you at an event. I was like, I love you. I love you so much. You know, I think it was me. I think I was attacking you. So I feel like I like full on like accosted you. But so thanks for having me on the show. It's nice to see you. You know, we're getting Caitlin ready for her prom today. And I was just so curious. Do you remember your prom? Of course. So I went to two proms. Oh. Well, actually, I went to three, but I went to oh. two. Um, I know. Oh, I love oh, that's, that. Oh, that's Jim Daly. <laughs> He's going to kill me. So that's Jim Daly. He was my... Um, I was in Camelot in my when I was a junior, in, and he was Lancelot. Oh. And I was Guinevere. And, um, and so I asked him, he was a year younger than me, so I asked him to prom, and I drove, and then I it tried to make out with him, but he wasn't very much interested. In. And then this is Chris Kuchemeister, and you'll see that my knee is bent because I was a little bit taller than him and I was, su I was super nervous. And, but he was my, like, my first boyfriend and he was so sweet and he took me to his senior prom. Oh. He was like my, my first like boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> so I, that, was, that was the best prom. I Cause he actually kissed me. <laughs> stories and these pictures. But wait, did you ever, like, didn't you get a perm at one point? I remember hearing, because I got a perm at one point, and... Oh, yeah, because my hair is, like, naturally straight. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's so many things unfortunate about this photo. The claw bangs, the clear braces that aren't really clear, and the bad perm. You were performing when you had this perm. In fact, I think we have a clip of you, which is something we love to do on this show. Let's roll it! Oh God! Smoke. You can't do a thing with your mouth. I can explain. <laughs> By the way, I wasn't I wasn't balking at the perm. I was more balking at like or freaking out about the message because that is like in your face intense. But I love the like you're gonna die to the jazzy song. Like they're yeah. like dun 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 dun, dun death. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, I'm pretty sure in that commercial is my caboodle. Remember the uh, caboodle? And they're back. I know. I'm so, I already got one for my daughter. It's purple. So anyway, they, uh, that was a PSA for, obviously, for smoking, anti-smoking ad. It, it was smoking stinks. And so I was, you know, hired as, that was like my, lo my local claim to fame. I remember I was like, I finally made it when the drive through guy at Taco Bell was like, are you the girl in the Smoking Stinks commercial? You're like, uh-huh, I am. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now, you were crocheting, right? Um, and you're a big crocheter. Yes. I, I started crocheting when I was 19, so I've been doing it for 25, 20 plus years. It's something that I love to do. I start, it started off like I had like lost my voice. I had laryngitis and I started crocheting just to give myself something to wow. do. And, um, oh, there's my daughter. Wow. And I, Your stuff I love is it. amazing. It, it, for me, it's like an emotional thing. Oh yeah, there's a little sweater for her. I've made things that have gotten me through breakups or deaths or even like the birth of my daughter. Like as I was waiting for her to be born, I was like, I don't know what to do. I, I feel powerless. So I'm going to make her a blanket. And so you can like, pour your your energy into something and then it exists forever and it's this heirloom that could be passed on and a lot of the things that I've made are like little time capsules. I have to tell you too, your crochet is not normal Sutton. You could open up the dopest store and charge a bundle. Your work is extraordinary. Thank you. I, would you ever consider selling them? Uh, I, it is like my dream. I mean, it's so funny. I'm like, I'm an actress, singer, dancer, crocheter. I think I would be so happy, like just running like my own Etsy store and just making things. I feel like the people that really know me know me as like the, the crazy crafter. I'm really glad to uncover these personal layers and celebrate um, your final season. Younger has been such a beloved show. How does it feel to say goodbye to this very long chapter? It feels very bittersweet. It was seven years of my life, but I just feel like I hit the jackpot. Amazing cast, crew, uh, just a, a wonderful place to work, a wonderful place to be. Um, and it lasted for, that That energy lasted for seven years. And But that final day when they say, and that's a series wrap on Younger, you know, I um, it felt very finite. And I realized, oh, I won't be with all of these people. You know, this, this, uh, this combination of people 
probably will never be together in this way again. Yeah. And, um, and that makes me sad, but I feel so incredibly grateful. And uh, I really, it was like the job of a lifetime. Well, be sure, please, everybody to check out her concert as well uh, as the final season of Younger, which airs on Paramount Plus and Hulu. It has been so fun. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me. And thanks for just being you. Because um, I really, I just, I admire you so much.